And these niggas are straight weirdos, like straight hoes, bro. Like, I can't with these lame ass niggas, bro. It ain't even, actually, I ain't even gonna say they hoes. I ain't gonna do them like that. I ain't gonna do them like that. But I feel like our community, black community, people that represent our black community, y'all need to do better when it comes to these relationships, bro. Like, you could talk about all that becoming Muslim, talk about all this, uh, eating right, this, that, and the third. But nigga, you don't, and working out, this, that, and the third. How you treat your kids, this, that, and the third. Raise your kids, this, that, and the third. But you can't teach it by going to counseling. You can't teach your black people, like, take your wife to counseling. If things seem like they're not working out, if you feel like the love is lost, take your love on the counseling. Like, it's like, like, what type of, I hate to even keep talking like that, because I'm not a man, so I can't speak for men. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, what type of man would just let their wife go? I don't care what she did. You know what I'm saying? I don't care, because I feel like as humans, we gotta understand things happen. Things come up, things happen. You dig know what I'm saying? And in different emotions, you feel different ways. You dig know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I feel like I hate my girl. But if I sit in those emotions and I cry it out this, then the third, I come to the realization I'm just hurt. You dig know what I'm saying? Sometimes I think I'm angry. But nah, sometimes I have to sit back and be like, nah. You ain't angry, you just, yeah, yeah, you angry, but that's because you can't get your way. Like, she didn't really do nothing. She just not complying with you. You know, different stuff like that. You dig what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know. It's crazy because I was on Miko yesterday, and I was just was talking about Kevin Gates, and I was listening to some of his music. Because in a sense, we kind of going through the same shit. But then I was like... I bet you in five, I say five years, tops, ten years, tops, they gonna be back together. That boy gonna be trying to get his wife back. And here we go. The next day, he online talking about he need his wife back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if she, if she, all she gotta do is say the word and he'll drop all that shit. Really? <laughs> my fucking radar is off. Like, I need to work on my radar because... I felt it in the spirit, but I ain't know it was that close. I just be saying that shit to be safe, but I'm telling y'all, like, I should have bet somebody yesterday. I swear to y'all. I bet Miko, though. I said I bet $50 he gonna be back with his wife come five years, ten years tops. And look at him. So, I don't know. I just feel like, um... We as a black community are more open to things like therapy and medications and different things these days and herbs and healing work and different things to heal yourself uh, naturally. So I feel like eventually it would be more of a normal thing for people to go to counseling. Like, people be acting like that shit is forbidden. Like, how... It's like, how ignorant could you be not to want to go and get help from... They People be like, um, if we can't get it... Like my girl, she be like, if we can't get it right together, then we just can't get it right. But no, like, we have no example of people that got it right. Everybody from my grandma and on down then got divorced or then went through baby daddy to baby daddy. So... We had no guidance. Nobody taught us how to love and how to stick in it and how to work through the hard times and how to be content in the good times and be content up in the hard times. You know what I'm saying? Nobody taught us that shit. So why wouldn't you want a professional, an expert that studies people and studies society and studies culture? Why wouldn't you want them just giving you some advice on how to, like, not deal with the bullshit, but, like, actually progress in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people stay at certain levels in their relationship forever just because of communication. They don't know how to say, baby, I want more. 
Baby, I feel like we should do more. Baby, I need, I want your help to do more. You know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy. A lot of people break up because of that. A lot of people just counseling is 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 a real thing. You know what I'm saying? This coming from a former life coach. Like three years ago, I had started a life coaching business and a tarot reading business, and. The shit was going well. I had a couple of clients, this, that, and the third. But then something happened with my living situation. I had to leave. And, you know, everything is in shambles now. But I understand the mind and the communication when it comes to how we communicate and, and how we communicate within the different emotions. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't realize that your emotions can control everything that you're talking about. So when you're in a more positive vibration, you can be in a more understanding vibration or a more accepted vibration, but more so a more aware of vibration of what's really happening. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't even realize that that little tidbit. You could be mad about your job or mad about your parent passing away. Or you could be mad about your living situation, and that could cause everything that you want to happen not to happen because you're not in a positive vibration you're not in a fully positive and aware vibration to get things done in a proper way <laughs> you know so y'all still want to be like stay lit i always have to come on here and you know give my little tidbits uh because I think it's wild that I predicted it and it came true the next day. Like, my prediction was way off, but I just know Kevin Gates' caliber. You know what I'm saying? And I know Drika's caliber. They played the roles exactly how they supposed to. Y'all don't understand. When you with a real woman, it's going to be a vibe where she acting like she not bothered about y'all breakup and you out here looking like you okay but you still talking about it like this that that's women and men that's just i'm telling y'all because it's like it's just how it is like I, I i always see it like when a woman get fed up even when the man get fed up and they break up kevin said he broke up with her so Naturally, the type of woman Drika is, I bet she about a Capricorn. We Capricorn between a Virgo and a Capricorn. Virgo month, Virgo Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, a Capricorn. She one of them, or she might be an Aquarius, but I think he an Aquarius. But when you, um, when both of y'all are mad and y'all give up on, you know, you give up on the situation. The woman is always going to figure out, like, a real woman going to always figure out how to just try to move on. He, she going to try to block you on everything. She going to try to move on because that's what she was taught to do. Okay. Most men, they was taught to move on, but they was also taught not to fall in love with no woman. You know what I'm saying? So once you fall in love, it's not too many people that tell you how to handle that once it's over with. You did what I'm saying? Most people gonna tell you, just like the people that be around Gates, most of them people gonna tell him, get your wife back. And that's just simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, uh, you know, the majority gonna tell her, uh, you know, do what's best for you. Move on. Get him back if you feel like that's what you need to do. But it's very rare that people of her caliber gonna tell her, like, get your hook. Because especially with the shit that they done been through, like, they got family beef involved, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? Like, she got her family in her ear. Of course she not gonna try to go back, this, that. She gonna make it look good as fuck, and she gonna make him work for it. On God. So... I just feel like it's uh, it's inspiring. Um, it makes me sad. I I cry a lot, uh, but it's inspiring, you know. Uh, like, cause I couldn't imagine my Drika 
not want to be with me. But that is what I'm going through. You know what I'm saying? Like, my Drico with a whole nother person. And it seemed like they finna get married or some shit. Like, I don't know what to believe at this point. Like, you know, I think I, I she slipped up and said something and I heard it yesterday. And at this point, I just don't know what to believe or what to feel. But, you know, you know, nothing can change until we get together. Like, it'll, all, it'll, it'll always be this feeling of hurt. Until she changed her living situation or until she we come back together, together, I, I'm just going to continue to be hurt every day. So at this point, I'm just trying to get my mind off of it. Like, and just be content with, like, being around my kids and eating good, smoking good, living good. I even went out and got a job today because, like, I know that helps. Like, it helps the time go by. And then at the same time, you're making money. Like, I've been waiting on her for months. Like, really for six months. And I haven't been making no money. Like, so. Like, and, you know. And it's like. She's been okay with that. Because she know once I make some money. It's either you coming with me or you ain't. And I feel like she know that. She liked the fact that I've been waiting on her and not doing shit, not going no well. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I try to do that, but you, it's like, she's too inconsistent. I gotta, gotta do something else with my energy. I just got to. I can't, like, of course there's gonna be times where I'm calling her, trying to blow her up. It's gonna be times where I come on here and cry. And be like, I miss her so much, you know. Um, everything. Like, I don't expect not to go through the motions. I actually accept it at this point, you know. Just like right now, I want to cry, but it's like, for what, bro? Like, I already know what's going on. Like, so at this point, I'm going to try to have as much fun as possible. I'm on my Kevin Gates shit. And soon as she say the word, soon as she say the word, just simply that because I can see my turn whenever I want to. So all she got to do is move me in and let's work on getting Kizaya back. Like, the way you going about it, you are being stagnant as fuck. It's like y'all have no structure and then you trying to do something with it's just it's just no structure like and that's another reason why I'm trying my best to just back off because it's like I'm looking at some shit running to the ground when I'm begging her to help me save it you know what I'm saying and then it's like you know I'm not gonna go too deep I'm not gonna go too deep because then I was gonna start talking about my kids you know, living over there in that situation, like, it's just not good. Like, I don't care what nobody say. That living situation for my children is not good. And it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Like, first of all, I'm going to tell y'all one thing I know for a fact. One thing I know for a fact. My kids... Being in this house 24-7, 365 is not healthy. That's why I'm thankful we have outside the houses that we live in. in the south, well, I can only speak for the South. The houses that we live in here are too small for kids to actually play and have fun. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm sitting up in here all day, every day, and this and the third, and we playing, I could be playing with them. They're going to do stuff that make me, that aggravates me because I could be telling them not to do it, but they could be not understanding 
and five minutes later they do the same thing and it keeps being repetition then you get aggravated and then you stop playing that certain game that you was playing with them because now you feel like they just not listening no it's that <laughs> the fact that you see this room as this is the living room that's the outside door to go outside that's the your churn don't see shit like that it's not that simple it's like It's, it's just not that simple. They think more so of, Mommy, ooh, let's play. Let's eat. Ooh, there go a chair. Let me jump over across of it. Or let me see if I can jump across it. Oh, I got to use my hands. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, I hit my toe. Let me put on my shoes. Oh, I see a broom by my shoe. Let me... <laughs> let me knock the broom on the chair. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's anything. Bro, or let me put the shoe on top of the broom and swing it around. I swing it around, then the shoe go flying and hurt something. You know what I'm saying? It's it's that simple, bro. Like they not, it's not their, it's not even their job to think that deep into. I'm not supposed to do this because this house is too little. You know what I'm saying? Like what the f- what? What? So. If you're not taking your churn outside every day or making their ass go outside every day, they're unhealthy. So we'll just stay there. You know what I'm saying? We'll just keep the mind frame there. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm trying to build with my wife. I'm trying to get us in a home, an actual house. I need her mindset to be where my shit at because she not going to get there. She not going to get where she need to get with that nigga. That's not thinking how I'm thinking. I'm trying to get her on a level of thinking how I'm thinking. Because it takes the mind first. It's taking the mind to actually believe that you can do it. I haven't smoked today. I haven't drank in like two weeks. When it comes to how focused I am and how, I, how focused I be on my family, I don't be playing, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I don't be playing. So, like, right now I'm finna get another job. Because I feel the plasma center is calling me too, too much. I feel like, bitch, if you could do the plasma center, you might as well just go get another job. So, and... I can tell that my girlfriend is trying to stop anything positive that I'm trying to do to get her back. Like, she won't help me get no job. She won't help me get on my mental medication. It's like, it's like you keep saying you don't want me to do this. You don't want, you don't like me on my medicine. You don't want me to get that job. Isn't it a such thing as supporting me? It don't matter what you think. Like. I didn't want her working at a fucking hotel. But you know what? I sure reminded her to call the people because that's something that she really wanted to do. Even her friend worked there. So I was like, babe, why don't you, you know, contact the girl you was talking about that worked there? She was like, oh, yeah, let me get, let me do that. Next day she had the job. I sure woke her up for her job. I sure asked her if she wanted something to eat every day when she was at work. You know what I'm saying? But I did not want, still don't want her working at no fucking hotel. Not no Indian ass hotel. I could see if it was a five star seven star hotel. Then yeah, the girl turn up. What the fuck? <laughs> but nah, she work at a hotel that the famous twins go to every time they fuck, fucking off. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, every time they come in town. But, nah, bro. Like, big ups to Kevin Gates and Jerika. Big ups to me and my wife. Like, I never give up on her. But I will do it mentally. I will reprogram my mind. If I'm not her end-all, be-all, I have to just, like, be comfortable with being alone. And, like, that means the phone calls going to stop. The text message is going to stop. I'm still going to be on Miko every night, and I'm still going to be respectful to her. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I just don't have a desire. Like, at this point, I don't have a desire to be in a relationship. 
Not if it's not no, not no. If I can't have my wife, I don't want no relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know better. I'm not finna be out here on no Kevin Gates shit being seen with a bitch one day and then, you know, because I already did that. <laughs> I already did that. I already did that. So, <laughs> but nah, yeah, nah. But yeah, y'all still want to be like, hey, literally, I'm finna roll up and give me some ice cream. Oh, that's on period. Uh, I hope she called me, but I'm kind of working on not calling her, not contacting her, because, like, I just don't want to anymore. This is not, this is not what I want no more. Like, this, this brat race, like, this chase is every day being a chase, this every day not knowing if she going to answer my call, not knowing if she gonna hang up in my face, not knowing if she actually gonna come see me like she say she is, I can't do it no more. So when she decide to leave him or put that bitch out, when she decide to actually come pick me up and my things so we can live happily ever after and we can actually work on Growing, actually writing it down. What the fuck we're doing. And saying these expenses go towards that. Alright, we got $60 this week. We got $60 this week for gas. We got $60 this week for food. So that means cereal, milk, spaghetti, noodles, sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? Like... Shit like this, y'all. This type of this what type of parent I am. It's every this every situation too. Money go towards this. Money go towards that. This money is going towards our house that we're buying. Oh, we don't have enough money. Okay, let me learn some stocks. We don't have enough money. Okay, let me pay for a promotion. Let me pay for. Uh, uh, advertisement on Facebook for my tarot readings. It'll be like just nine dollars at the at the cheapest. But probably I'm gonna put twenty dollars so I can see more, so I can reach more people, reach a bigger platform. All right, I'm gonna do that so I can be getting fifty dollar tarot readings and be working at my job while you working at your job and the churn be straight. You get what I'm saying? And then another thing. My mama would never mind dropping the churn, my churn off with us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to get a break. She would never mind it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, let's work this out. <laughs> let's show DHR the truth. Like, And that's another thing. I've always been a person of the truth. That's why I'm in this situation now. Because I told them at the hospital I had a mental health pass and I ended up going off on them at the hospital because they was trying to they were trying to play me and I ain't gonna go into it so oh um, yeah so it's just it's all about um not even patience at this point finding a different passion uh finding what makes me happy again finding Different things that I love to do again, um, you know, by myself. Um, spending more time with my ancestors, you know, accepting where things are, accepting how things are moving, you know, stop chasing after my, um, I don't know what to call them, because it's, it, you know, for a while it felt like needs, but who knows. I don't think they were needs. I think they was just desires, you know, very strong desires. You know, wanting to be with my wife and wanting to build with her. But uh, it's, it's it's time to reevaluate, y'all. And that's on my soul. So, stay bunny, be like, stay lit. Literally, I am Ko Okan. I am that I am who we are. The acceptance angle of pure light energy. 
Yeah, I have a video. And like, 